Hello and welcome everybody. In this tutorial, we'll figure out how to use root journal metrics. First of all, to use root journal metrics, you have to activate a metrics plugin. To activate it, you just need to add it to the root journal YAML configuration and assign address to it. Any endpoint like slash metrics will be added automatically. So let's have a look at the plugin with the metrics available. First plugin is HTTP. To add metrics to it, you need to add HTTP middleware called HTTP metrics. Next plugin is gRPC and, plug and all metrics available automatically. Jobs also has metrics and these metrics available also automatically. Temporal plugin is quite unique for Roadrunner and has two endpoints available in it. First endpoint can be activated via metrics address and assign address to it. These metrics are temporal metrics, I mean temporal server metrics. And to activate Roadrunner metrics in the temporal plugin, it will be, you need to add metrics plugin and assign address to it, as for the previous plugins. Let's have a look how to resolve such situation when you have two endpoints at the same time. To resolve this, you need to add targets to your Prometheus configuration. For example, we have two endpoints here and we added two targets in it. So Prometheus will grab the metrics from both targets. Let's have a look at the dashboards. First dashboard is HTTP dashboard. And in every dashboard we have some like general section. First section is Rodern section. And it has like Rodern uptime, timer, in use memory, and number of routines running at, at the time. Rodern in use memory shows you how much memory uses Rodern itself without workers. Next, we have worker statistic. For example, here we have we see a total number of workers, also a ready working and invalid numbers. We also have a sum of memory for, for the each worker here. And memory consumption per worker with their PID associated with this worker. We also have a unique section for each plugin. For example, here for HTTP plugin, we have HTTP latency, HTTP request queue size, and request per minute. So let's have a look at the request queue size. Request queue size is the number of requests currently waiting for the worker. So it can be used like a scanning upside or downside. Let's have a look at the next dashboard, for example, gRPC. As you can see, gRPC has a similar section, sections, and also unique to gRPC sections. At the moment, we don't have this uh, metrics available, but we will update the dashboard quite soon. Next dashboard is job dashboard. Yeah, you can see the general section and the unique section. For example, here you can see jobs OK rate and jobs errors rate. Here you can see the numbers of jobs pushed successfully and pushed with some error. For example, if you want to combine the metrics from each dashboard to like and merge, in, merge them to uh, some another dashboard, you just need to click on this label and copy this dashboard or you may see the panel JSON and copy the JSON to another dashboard. Next have a look at the temporal SIR metrics. They are also available here. As you can see here, we have a bunch of metrics available for temporal cluster. Almost every aspect described with these metrics. All metrics available in the folder called 
dashboards and they are split by JSON files for the every dashboard. Thanks for watching.